across the road from our original homestead of our house where my family lived was built in 1868. And so as a family, we've been here a long time. Basically the eastern edge of the Kansas Flint Hills, the very southern edge of where the glaciers have went, and the eastern edge of the Osage Plateaus. Kind of a unique area in that we have native grass, cool season grasses, kind of a combination of different, different regions right here where we're at. Sunflower Genetics is a basically semi-Angus operation that we also run purebred Angus cows, purebred Semental cows with the majority of what we make being semi-Angus cattle. Well, Sunflower Genetics, it's a business that's been grown uh, through my parents' lifetime, something that they started, has been going for 35 plus years now as far as selling cattle, uh, long before I was around. We market cattle. Uh, seed stock cattle, bulls, and females as well, primarily through our annual sale in the springtime in March, and then also some private treaty sales as far as bulls in the fall too for some fall calving herds as well. We do cattle and then also some crop. We also have some show pigs and show sheep as well, but cattle is our primary focus around the ranch. The multi-breed component of IGS, for us it's very nice to be able to look at those purebred Angus cattle and have a little bit of a base on how do they compare with the Simmentals through that multi-breed evaluation. It really helps us in making those decisions when we make those F1s as far as those Angus cattle that we bring in. Just has been really nice in that regard as far as that application. Particularly now with the IGS and total herd reporting, all of our entire cow herd is in total herd, including our Angus cows. We generate data with in contemporary groups that consist of purebred Angus cows, purebred Semital or Sem Angus, and get a really good comparison of how they, how they can actually compete with each other. And the Semital Association has been really good about allowing us to bring in the different breeds and utilize them, at least in our database and in really the entire American Semital database. It helps the commercial producers too know just where do the different bloodlines, the different breeds stack up in the data. Something new that we found out this year, because of the yield grades that we've been seeing in our cattle, we were able to have more flexibility as far as that endpoint. And with the fires in western Kansas at one of the packing plants, we were able to hold on to our cattle another week. And so that was very key to us this year as far as the profitability of that pen. We've tried to embrace technology as it's came along and it'll continue and, and try to, to work with the new different tools that are available to us through Simmental or, and keep working on the cattle and try to keep the basics of what makes a good cow herd in mind and try to blend those all together. Over the next five, 10 years, I, I know Sunflower Genetics is gonna evolve into the next step of uh, probably some different marketing venues, some different genomics involved into it, some different selection but the end result will still be the same in trying to make better cattle for our customers. It's an exciting time to be part of Simmental.